This is a short video to show you how to collect, analyse and interpret a rapid nasopharyngeal test to detect coronavirus infection. Before we get started, you'll need to wash or gel your hands and ensure you have a testing kit. You'll also need a timer, a clean work surface and around 20 minutes to do the test. The kit should contain a few different items. The swab, a sample tube with a lid, some buffer solution and the testing cassette. Make sure you don't open the cassette before you're ready to do the test as after an hour it will not be usable. Set your collection tube up in the rack and add 10 drops of buffer solution to the tube, taking care not to touch the top of the tube. The first thing to do is to collect your swab sample. In order to do this, Insert the foam tip of the swab 2 to 4 cm into one nostril until you feel some resistance. Then rotate around five times. Repeat this process for the other nostril. This may be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful. Withdraw it slightly if it hurts. Withdraw the swab and place it into the tube containing the buffer solution. Squeeze the swab around the edge of the tube at least six times and then leave the swab to stand in the buffer solution for one minute. Squeezing the outside of the tube with the fingers several times, remove the swab and discard it. Place the top of the lid firmly on the collection tube. Turn the tube upside down and then carefully squeeze four drops of the solution onto the specimen well of the cassette. Start the timer. It will take 15 minutes for the result to be ready and the results should not be read after 20 minutes as they may not be accurate. After 15 minutes, your cassette should show a result. There should always be a line visible by the C for control. If this is not present, it's best to repeat the test using a fresh kit. If there is a positive test result, there will also be a line visible at the T. Even if this line is very faint, it means your test result is positive. If there was no line visible at the T, this means the test result is negative and it's likely you did not have coronavirus at the time that this sample was taken. However, you should still continue to follow government guidance regarding social distancing and hand hygiene and arrange a PCR test if you develop any symptoms of coronavirus. If the test is positive, we would recommend you self-isolate and arrange a PCR test to confirm your results. 